Count Lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Chef, chef, one, testing, 45, testing, 92, yeah. Hello, and welcome to the world. Cool. Anzac? Anzac? A... I'm not quite sure what the acronym means. But, let me let me show you what's going on here in the world of my... I'm not sure what that is. Is it an acronym? Totally being Anzac Day. Anzac Day? What dimension are we living in here? I don't know what's happening. But let me tell you what's going on here in the world of cyberpunk. I was already live for like nine hours earlier, and then I ate some food and took some... Oh, uh... Oh, oh. Australia, New Zealand, Army Corps Day. Australia, New Zealand, Army Corps Day. Bam, bam, ba -dum, bam, ba -dee, boo -doo, boo -doo. Anzac, Anzac forever. Anzac and Anzac, we will be, be true. Or something. I don't know the song. Is there a song? Eh. It's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty intimidating uh, acronym, actually. Anzac. Like a, I can imagine Anzac on like a big freighter, on a big battle cruiser. Some helicopters flying in with Anzac on the side. Scary stuff. 
But here in the world of Cyberpunk, I, I don't know if you've seen my streams at all here with this game, but there's a new graphics update recently in the past 12 or so days where now it's full path tracing with ray tracing where now there is a nearly unlimited number of rays of light being traced from every illumination source to every destination and bouncing around a nearly unlimited number of times so that you have incredibly realistic lighting and theatrical level lighting of realism when before now it was only used in the movie industry and now it's used in only this game in only this game and I've been going through trying with that being said I've been trying to I think I've already told you some of this but you know it's been a while and we've been going through the whole city block by block you know trying to trying to memorize everything trying to memorize the arteries taking me between the zones across the zones you know not using the user interface you see no user interface and uh, all that and we've been doing it planning all kinds of stuff I, I came over here because there's a nice farming route of enemies I'm trying to find a nice farming route or whatever you want to call it. I, I don't really want to call it a farming route because that sounds mindless. It's really about uh, giving a tour through each district using the enemies and parkour as the route along with walking and the occasional short drive. The goal is to eventually produce a bunch of little videos per zone or whatever or to be a tour guide wherever I go to know what the purpose of every building is just for overall understanding. I've learned quite a bit, you know? It's amazing. Once you really put st stuff in context. And also, I'm trying to flesh out my build. I am level 50 here. You see, in level 50 street cred. Uh, which means you can't go any deeper. But you can gain additional skill points. Which is what's assigned to your build. Is that's how you assign your build. You see, your attribute points define the limit of how deep or how high of a level you could bring your skill progression per individual sub-skill of the attribute. So, for example, you have body, and body contains athletics, annihilation, and street brawler. And that's like shotguns and light machine guns, you know, blunt weapons, you know, handguns, blades, crafting, engineering, breach protocol, quick hacking. Ninjutsu, cold blood. So you have these nested skills, and they're cut off based upon. By cut off, I mean you cannot gain progression beyond a certain point based upon the number of attributes points spent. So here in this case, under intelligence, I only have three points, which means I can't go beyond level three. But in this case, I have 20 points, which means I can continue leveling up athletics all the way up to 20. You see, and at level 20, you unlock. Hey there, Mars. The gang's all here. And at level 20, you unlock a special perk, you know? And every so often along the progression, you earn extra perk points. So the goal is to go through all these different categories per tree that you've decided to dig into and make sure that they're all maxed out. That's why I have to use different weapons. So now I'm using submachine guns and light machine guns along with my build. But it's still basically the same thing. So I have this anti precision rifle from time to time. Okay. But it's basically the same thing. The whole idea is to uh, get behind cover for a second and then snipe out their heads really quickly. Not in slow motion. And once they know I'm there, at that point I break out of my line of sight break and I slow down time and I go really fast and I punch all the enemies on the ground. I go punch, punch punch one time each per enemy they all knock on the ground and then I whip out my light machine gun and I shoot them when they're on the ground and that's basically it okay and then in the middle of combat I could in theory shoot a few more as they're coming from further away this is slightly more accurate slightly more stable gun than this gun 
just about. But I might put it away. Basically, I put away my my uh, sword because I'm already maxed out on blades. You know what I mean? So my goal for tonight's stream. is to I have a clipboard here I have a clipboard and I would like to drive on down to the Glen area and go block by block and really just maybe write down where the enemies are I think because I was getting lost earlier and that just really bothers me I don't really want to get lost here I'll break out a better car and I'll try to go the speed limit huh? roughly for the most part, you know? Within reason. Within reason. I'll make it relatively realistic. Let's just say that if you were a person that had this car, and you lived in this city, with these rules, you wouldn't be going 30 miles per hour. You'd be going at whatever speed you'd want to go, within reason, to be safe. And then w whenever you're within the city, you wouldn't be going too crazy. But my point is, on this road, you're going to be going whatever speed you feel is reasonable, which is... 100 yeah so whatever earlier I was getting vaguely lost in the Glen when I I'm trying to avoid getting lost I, I removed the mini map you know and I kept going in circles now I wasn't so much getting lost but I guess it's the same thing it was a different feeling it was a feeling of feeling I'm going in one direction but then suddenly I, I'm back in the same spot and it kept happening and happening and happening what was happening was the enemies were respawning so quickly and I was responding to where the enemies were and I was looping around in a circle. You know, I would be fighting dudes and finishing them off and all of a sudden I'm back in the same spot I was even though I was spanning several blocks. So, here we are. We, we are now leaving Pacifica, okay? This is my whole point of my stream. I've been doing this the whole time or whatever. We choose some spot and we go through street by street. So back there, that is Pacifica. You can tell with the neon lights. And now we are entering the Haywood region of the map, which is split into Vista Del Rey, the Glen, and Wellsprings. Okay, so this is probably either Wellsprings or the Glen. All right. But most likely at this point is the Glen. Wellsprings is like the Glen, but a bit fancier, a bit more tropical, a bit more Pacific, a bit more colorful, a bit less dirty, a bit less bricky, a bit less residential. The Glen has a high density residential residential structure. See this high density housing? And it has lots of graffiti everywhere. Okay. We're coming straight down. Let's just go all the way down the end of the road here. You have all this brick. You see all that brick? Lots of cement and brick. Lots of brick and cement and graffiti. Large mules. The police department. Murals. The Quadra. Traffic, yeah. Okay, and now I've learned a lot more about the lore. I've been doing research, you know, and now I don't view the police as just police anymore. In this game, normally I don't attack police. I, I feel like it's unethical in video games. You know, it doesn't set the right example. But in this case, the police are really just Militech. It's complicated. Okay. They're an extension of the U.S. government trying to gain control over Night City. It 
really is a shame. It's a sliding uh, moral scale here, you see. Once I've declared that anybody that belongs to that gang is worthy of death, and if I go into your hideout and you happen to be there, part of that gang, that means that you aren't, are no longer going to be living. Then I have to kind of apply that rule across the board. Otherwise, who am I? Okay. That is more towards the city center, you see. You can tell that there is a change in the architecture. It's like a giant computer. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go all the way back down. But faster. Now, I've mastered something before. I kept going down that way. And I, and I forced myself to be trained on this way over and over and over again. But now I forget what was down here. All I know is that I forced myself to drive back and forth down this road over and over and over again. I might have to whip out my, my, my uh, motorcycle. This might be Wellspring. Sorry, up. Uh, this might be Poor Will. I think this is, yeah, this is Poor Will Avenue. Yes, this is Poor Will Street. One street past its bridge. And every road off to the right leads to the main road that leads down to the center of the city with the rotary, with the holographic fish, and so forth and so on. So, for example. So, I do know everything on this road. I know everything here. This next right is a one-way road that loops around. Right here. If you don't know that, you can get really confused saying, How do I get out of here? Help me! You see? You can get really confused with this one-way looping non-exit garbage. But if you know, it's no problem. It's not only that that road is closed off. in reality we were supposed to just hang a left over here and that'll take us down to the city center but that's not really what I want to do but I can and I will and then I'll swap out vehicles for a motorcycle and maybe do it again I do like changing lanes with the car it's sort of satisfying so I want to go up here and then get off the over ramp and then loop around the front ramp. Not so much here, but I want to go past. Yeah. So if you watch the the Cyberpunk Edge Runners anime on Netflix and you pay attention to it, you'll see that it starts off here. Look for that in the show. Look for that. You'll see it. Ooh, that is nice looking. My goodness. Look at that picture. Preset one, two, three, four, five. Uh, depth of field. Off. Boom. Tab. And boom. Okay, I'm going to get off right here and then turn around. I like to go and uh, try to return. But this is going to be a slightly different route because of how the highway is constructed. It's going to be like a dead end back there. It's going to be kind of weird and messy. I'm pretty sure. Yep, dead end. Which means it's not really a dead end. I'm about to swap out to that motorcycle in just a second, because this is a no yang. Whoa. Whoa. The lighting is weird. For a second. That's the Arasaka building to my right. Sure, I'll change the I'll change the radio to some nice jazz. Maybe. 
Royal Blue. There it is. This will help me drive slower. Yeah. Just deal with the traffic. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, now we're, we're looping back around the opposite side. Yeah. When there's smoke, there's... The other music is more for motorcycle weaving and going really fast. Oh my gosh, these, these people in Night City have to deal with this traffic. Just be brave and get out there, buddy. I'll do it. <sighs> I understand the issue. This is scary. this opposite way. I'm going to do a couple loops around here for a second and we could all appreciate what we're looking at here. Mm. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to uh, pull my car over here for a second. If I could find a nice position. Don't mind me. This is now officially a parking spot. Smooth. Okay. I'll pull up my other car. My other car has like a moon roof that we can see the city. More visibility. Oh, yes. It's the Batmobile. Ah. Make sure I get that royal blue radio going. Yes. creep forward a bit. Maybe they'll... Let me in! Let me in! Alright. Here we go. My car is better than yours. Let me in. Just cruise around for a second. Yeah. It's almost like Valheim with the music. I feel like um, jazz is nice for a cyberpunk game sometimes. Whoa! It helps to set the mood of Espionage. Yeah. We're just gonna loop around for a second on the inner loop. Let's get on the inside where it's safe. Like a penguin. Yep, the good old 15 mile per hour loop here. So let's just think. Arasaka. Northern, right there. So this is the the division between the Corpo Plaza and downtown. Okay, right there. That's the line between the two. All right, and then comes the division between downtown and Wellspring. Coming up next, right here. So technically, that will lead to Watson. This little road right there. Technically. And the next one coming up will be leading straight into the Glen. Or straight into Watson. So let's just get over over a bit. Let me in. Or let me out. Don't hit my car or I'll shoot you. Yes, yes. I've already learned this. I think if you notice this King Tile building has that brick color in the front and it looks like it's a high-rise dense apartment just the whole aesthetic of it <coughs> if we zoom out with the map here with, with the camera
this should head towards Vista Del Rey. And it does. Right where we came from. All these cars are speeding. Oh, they're going about 60. Good lighting right there, I tell you what. Yeah. It's getting all dark and weird in here. There we go. I turn my Stand here. The sun down. is down, but I hope you're still up. Is taking some twisty turns. Listen folks. to the radio. Weldon Holt reportedly shed Weldon Holt tears at shed Lucius, tears Ryan's, at Lucius grave. Ryan's grave. The rumors are swirling that those tears were extra salty. salty. Did Holt play a, role, Holt in play a role in the late demise? mayor's demise? Or is this political, political mudslinging? Whatever the reality, I know plausibility when I smell it. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope I like you're how still the radio uh, reacts. Is to it a mirage? A hologram? Quest progress. No, my friends, it's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Okay, let me let me get out for a second and start walking. No, 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 no. I'm a person that parks their car. I've already declared that I I need to park my car. Sometimes I'm lucky and find entire parking structures. Ooh. Nice. 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 Uh oh. These are parking spots. Oh my gosh. I found parking in Night City. I should be par uh, combat parking this thing like a pro, but, you know. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Uh, you, you two, can you please watch my car? You hear me? You think I'm joking? Watch my Shut car. Up, here. <laughs> I said, watch my car. I'll call trauma for you. She's fine. She's fine. I'm going to disable these turrets beforehand. They got these automated turrets in the walls. So where am I right now? You see, where am I? Where am I? I have a clipboard here and I wanted to like start annotating on a map. Let's get out to a main road. I want to get down to the center. I'm just going to start sprinting in this direction. And we'll start from there, okay? Welcome to the Glen. I'm gonna run off in this direction until I see something. Mega Building 01. How dare you people. Having a fun time hopping around. That is a big m mural right there. Jeez. You guys know what they're doing. Padre. Sabe. Oh, there is a parking structure here. Yeah. Is it open to the people? Is it open to the public? The answer is nigh. The answer is nay. So, this is a road. That is the park. I know exactly where I am now. Precisely. Stop! 
We're gonna go over here really quick. Okay, this is the nice landmark. This main road here leads across the way, and these cement blocks are part of that main road. I think this is the one of the loop roads I have cemented into my brain from earlier. Let me uncheck this quest from my swim plan. Meet with Pan Am. There we go. And... Uh-huh. That might be the secret highway right there. I think it is. Is it the secret highway? I think it It might just be. It is, I think. Yeah. This thing right here is the secret highway. Nestled within. That's one heck of a building. Just disabling all the turrets, you know. Just disabling all the turrets, no big deal. This place is crazy. This place is crazy. Let's get some Lilu beans. Gigantic buildings. I think they're all residential. Maybe. I mean, is this building over here residential or is it, it doesn't really seem like it at all? So how do you get in? From the opposite side. In theory, how do you get in, you know? Three melts, one desire. To eat donuts. That's a town hall, or whatever you want to call it. Where the old mayor died. So now, a new mayor is up for election. So we'll see in the next update what happens with that. You know? Will, will they go deeper in the timeline? Right, here we go. The cult hit musical Corporate Wars in is back in theaters near you. This right here is Schofield. I used to live in sort of Schofield Barracks, sort of. Or whatever. Yeah, this is the town hall, this building here, and it has its wraparound flimflam that goes up and down. 
and I think it even takes a left over here. Yeah, and it gets all confusing. I'm not really trying to go through this whole area right now. Okay. But this might be the intro. Let's just imagine. Let's just imagine. Let's just imagine. I'm going to take my clipboard right here, you know, and I'm going to, uh, in theory, in theory, just have a little, a little square for the um, town hall, you know, and you have this little tunnel leading down, and then you have a group inside the tunnel. Okay. And that's going to be too much to write down, so I'm, I'm actually done. That's not going to... That's not going to happen. Not doing that. I'll just memorize. There's a group here in this tunnel uh, right in front of the town hall. Okay. And then I think this whole area right here is full of bad guys. Let's just imagine. Let's just not forget. I'm, I'm going to really try to avoid attacking enemies right now. I will contain myself. Okay. End of the block. I'm sure there's enemies. Enemies right there. These pockets. I'll go for a light jog. Got these pockets all the way down. Over here. Enemies right there. Okay. I wonder how many enemies I, I can tag. Maybe I'll tag them on the way back through. There's enemies all throughout up here. There's a lot of enemies right here. Some good lighting. Of course. Ah, uncultured swine. I think I'm getting old. Uh, I'm going on a straight line right now. This place is popping. These guys have a high population of people hanging out at nighttime. There's another group. My gosh, they're everywhere. Well then. Well, well, well. And then we end up right here. And we end right here. This is the loop. Is this the same loop from before? No way. No. No, no, no. There's more than one loop like this. And this is not a one way. This is a two way. Let's go this way. Let's just keep on going straight. Okay, we're going straight still. Straight, 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 straight. What road is this? No one knows. No one knows. Some roads just aren't named. And it just ain't fair. Now the good news is we're coming right after uh, right after the highway. I don't believe in you clones. What are you, Maelstrom? Oh my gosh. Get back in the lab. What in the world's happening with you? Put a shirt on. Jeez. What are you, some sort of experiment? Okay. Caliente. Capitan Caliente. Let's go all the way straight down. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found the line again. 
This is the line. Oh my gosh, this is all the enemies in the known Omniverse, people. The Omniverse is set in pure... Or whatever the heck I'm talking about. This is the spot. Elmo's world. Okay, so now I want to sprint right back, okay? And I will resist the urge. Oh, okay, fine. Maybe I'm going to... Well, these guys are still um, dead from before, so there are more enemies here, in theory. I'm wondering if I can tag them. Will they stay tagged? And how, how far away will they remain tagged? Tag. 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 How many and how long? I'm just trying to tag all enemies within line of sight of this path. This might be one of the best little routes. This side of the hey! flam house. Hey, leave me alone. Watch your language. Silence. Blip, blip, and blip. I'm too fast for all that. Why am I so slow? Whoa! What the heck? That's a bug. Stop it! Why am I in slow motion? <laughs> supposed to be the world, not me. This is a good test to see how far we can tag these enemies. So, it's just a straight line. There's probably dudes down that side alley as well. Tag, tag, tag. Tag the enemy. Tag the enemy, yeah. Well, I can't see the ones that are tagged. So there's that. I already forgot how many enemies it was. Well, I guess I'm not going to tag them anymore. There are enemies all throughout here. I don't really want to fight them right now. I'll fight them on the next pass. But there's a lot. There's a lot. This should go all the way down. Straight line. Hey, these guys are already respawned. It's time to eat. Max health, carry weight, stamina, food, drink, and save. And it's time. Here's to earning skill points. Let's go. I could respect my skill point assignment, but not my, my uh, attribute point assignment. Okay, three. I would like to count. That was three. I'll probably get full before we're done here. We're going straight. For the most part. Need money? Sell the kidney. Need new kidney? Buy yours today. You could pay for our kidney by selling one of your current kidneys. <laughs> you can buy a three pack. You know, a single backup for one of your kidneys. We're going straight. We're going straight, 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 okay? Straight. Oh boy. 
already lost count. Let's just imagine. Eight. Or more. Ten, eleven, or something. Well, you know, I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of enemies. It's just beyond the point where it really matters because it's it's enough. Let's just say it's enough. Trying to earn my assault points and my uh, street brawler points and annihilation points. I'm right behind you. Boom! My my punches apply a bleed to the enemy. We're still going straight. Oh, hey guys. Ouch. I know. Street brawler. Let me go straight. There's probably enemies down the side road. But maybe not. It's better if there aren't, actually. Better if there aren't, and I don't think there are. Good. Better stick to that straight road. Excuse me. Some enemies no, down here. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my. One second. Oh boy. There are police coming. Are we okay? I'm being shot at. I'm being shot at by somebody somewhere. I'm being shot at by somebody somewhere. Stop shooting me. You go all the way down. Okay, let me get back to that road. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. 
Welcome to Blippin's Gifts. Why, thank you. Thank you. Whatever it was, it got away from this, Lulias! Pull up, oh. Anti flop. Not bad. A non bad spot. I give you the set of wearing. Pow, pow, pow. Her deals. Right there. Pow. Boom. Team. Nice. Precision rifle. Uh, I kind of went off track here. But there, there should be a vendor right here, I believe. Yeah. Nice. I went off track a little bit. Fighting all those bad guys over here in this alley. Way. Right over here. Yep, that's it, I think. Yep, let's go run right back. And we'll see if they respawned yet, huh? Let me go around this other block. There's probably more enemies, like a block down. Let me go this way and then go one block down and curve back to the left. El Coyote Kohei. their line. Oh my. Let's pop back over to the light machine gun of sorts. Nice. That went through the wall. Thoroughly. I mean, it's not an attack weapon. Go, motherfuckers, go! I was sort of bumped there. I was bumped. Oh, yeah. Goodbye there, Melissa. Oh, yeah. It's been so long. Oh, yeah, some happy... Um, New Zealand and Australian core day. As in the, whatever your acronym was. Scary stuff. Okay, I lost the direction I was running. Good. All 
Alright, let me go away from that restaurant, bar, and grill. Hey. This place is I'll tell you what, dude, this is chaotic. We did it, though. Reduces recoil. Oh, yes. Get that fist going. This whole area, full of criminals. It's full of criminals. strip by the town hall is pretty good you know and I'm sure I'll find more I keep revisiting different areas throughout time and space There is the mayor's office. Good. Or whatever. Town hall. Let's we'll see if these enemies have respawned. Mind you, I should probably put my stuff away right now. Right in the trunk. The trunk in the front. Who put the trunk in the front, the front, the front? away a few items here those purples and what now wait a minute I put away something I put away something no why wouldn't it warn me SMG out of here. It's a blue. That's the misleading part. It's a blue. You see, it's sort of weak. But whatever. It's an SMG. is all that matters. There you go. And now we, we resume. I'll make some ammo. You know? I'll make some nice ammo. Need more of this capacity booster, stamina booster. Boom! And these blue health kits. Oh yeah. Done. And over here, I'll break down those grays and greens and blues. That's what. And we go from there. Let me break down most of these scopes. We don't need them. You know. I don't want the non-lethal situation. All these scopes are trash. For the most part, taking up time and space. And I think I'm getting crafting skill from all this. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Now, I do have the perk so that I'm able to... I have a chance to get better uh, components than what I'm salvaging. Okay. Over here, we have this and that and this and... uh, Reload faster. 
mitigation strength. And over here, I'll craft the armadillo. Right now. Two fifty-one. We'll we'll see about that in just a second. It's misleading, you know. Misleading. There it goes. I will declare it to be better. Okay. And as for the rest of my clothing, I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Yes, yes, yes. And over here with my other garbage items, let's top off one more time. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right here. So I'm, go I'm going back towards the central hall or whatever. Town city hall. down fire get your shit together and we punch them thank you so much, buddy. Yes. Hey there, how's it going? Two for one special. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you so much for all of your loot. See her after that again? Hey there, Mars. How's it going? Big bada boom. Yes. And again. Let me hurry up. Thank you. I'm trying to develop these these routes, and I'm testing this route out uh, down down this road. It, it appears to have a bunch of enemies, and they appear to respawn relatively quickly. But I have to make it a complete loop. Hey, thank you so much, Mars. Thank you. Thank you. what I have to. Oh, man. Ugh, I hate swapping things out. By pressing the wrong button or something. Alright. Don't give me no 
Goodbye. You'll never get me. Okay, these guys are dangerous. Pow, and then boom, and then team. Go back through and light them up. Yeah. Excellent. Yay. So I'll be looping back around the other side right about now. Okay, I'll be weaving up and around now. Maybe. I'll make sure I'm using the, the correct health kit eventually. Because I'm not right now. Let's keep on going down. One block further, I guess. The mega building has no money, so I'll loop up. 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 Marmar Bank. And now we loop back around one street down, two streets down, a whole block down. Oh boy. Thick streeters. I think. A very hardcore weapon here. Super hardcore. I'm looping around now. Whoops. Whoops. About to show you what real experience looks like. What real experience looks like, sure. But you're bleeding. But you're bleeding. There are a lot of dudes out here. A lot of bad guys. That ricochet killed somebody. Oh no. That's okay. Uh. Another purple to sell. I'm going a bit further. Oh no. Not me. Not this one. Not me. Mega building there three, let me go back to the left. I'm so fast. Let me go down a block, please. Hey there, Neymar, let's go forward a couple more blocks this way. Before taking a left. Let me go over here. this other weird tunnel situation. Get out of my 
clap, clap, fizz, fizz. Oh no. No. What's over here? I'm just a a block or so away. Not today. I'll get you with a sideways shotgun. Fuck yeah! Let's see if this can penetrate that metal. Yeah. I don't know how... How much can it penetrate? I don't know. Who makes this weapon? Is there a make and model here? This is made by... Well, it's the SOR-22. Reliable, dependable, midnight arms. I don't want to get turned around now. I was trying to move further and further and further away. And now we're trying to head back to that office of your let's go nice and slow motion or whatever <laughs> you can't get me check over here it's nice and shadowy there might be might be some uh, enemies back here hmm. no enemies okay I'm going this way now so fast faster than cars even over here nothing probably and nothing let's go do one more loop hey there you just played Warhammer uh, which version Alex the tabletop with the figurines at games workshop or video game if so what video game Last loop, last loop, okay? It's clearly a really good loop. Oh, uh, the new Xbox game? The, oh, the Dark Tide thing? Oh, it's a first person shooter. Hey. Uh, I, I, I know very little to nothing about the Warhammer universe. Space Marines and weird things. And weird immortality and uh, super weird culture. I don't know too much about it. I know that uh, the actor that plays Geralt slash Superman is a fan and he wants to make a movie series. I think the act. What's his name? The actor that played Superman, uh, Geralt of Rivera. That guy, he's a big fan of Warhammer. I don't know. Yeah. 
No. Yes. No. Hey there, buddies. How's it going? You're going down. They're all in a row. But now that we've secured this, this situation, the real issue is getting to this spot. At least we have the, the town hall as a major landmark. You know? And, yeah. The town hall is a major landmark. Let's line these guys up and get a two-for-one special. Like so. Boom. Oh. Not today. Yeah, baby. I can bring it to a kiss from the rose on the grave. Oh, yes. It's true. Stranger field, yeah. Boom. And bam. Okay, we go all the way down. This is the last loop I'm doing. And, yes, right next to the center. I'm going to add this to the list of locations. This line. Not today. Not today. Not today. Oh, there's even more. Nope. Yep. Come on. Come on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Boom! Awesome. Let me go right back. Oh, there's even more over here. What? No. Oh, no. Hey there, buddy. Pow. Nice. Clayton. Are we done here? No. Almost. Well, this is the edge of reality. Oh, I actually went down. A, this is actually a side alley. This is the real way. It's good to know that it fires through walls. It's not just tech weapons. I'm pretty sure that's not a tech weapon. Right in the head. Yeah. Okay. Yay. You really gotta lead him in slow motion. Yay. That was exciting, wasn't it? Past tense. Engineering, why? Oh, the tech weapon. 
Is it attack weapon? It really feels like it's with all this engineering, these engineering points I'm getting. Maybe it's from all the explosive kills. All right, well, that's it for that. Let's go right around on my motorcycle for a little bit. Okay. That was good. Let me write that down. So I think I should go through each zone of the map and try to do the full loop one time. Okay? So. I would love to think that the primary loop over there is complete. Way over there north. Let's go up north. Alright, here we go. I'm going all the way across. All the way up to do my... Uh, I want to do the advanced Kabuki route because I found a lot more enemies to add to that route. Even though it is a low-level area, I would like to go through each zone if even possible. Straight across. Yeah, Charter Hill. Yeah. Let me go sell some stuff right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey there, pal. Let me sell some stuff to you. Start at the most expensive and work our way over. Okay. Like show. And over here, let's work with these. All the purples. I'll save the blues. I will save the blues. I think I should only uh, break down the green and blue, not the white. Well, there, there is a small cluster of enemies here, so I might as well get them. Uh, they'll probably respawn. It's a small cluster, it's not a big old line through Japan town. What up, Adam? Yeah. Hey there, Adam, yeah. How? I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer. Stop it. Yeah, so, so right now, and I'm, tr I'm trying to flesh out my remaining perks with this character by using these different weapons, okay? Just to catch you up. I've been doing lots of exploring and so forth, hence the title of the stream, the whole uh, farming routes and parkour flim flams. Uh, you see, I've already maxed out my blades and the handguns, and now I'm forced to raise up the assault by using SMGs and precision rifles. And I'm trying to build up my annihilation with my LMG. 
and we're almost done with the punching. That'd be fun. And I think we only have a few more points remaining. Just three more points remaining uh, under tech. And very soon, with crafting, I could earn one more perk point under there. And over here, there's apparently two more perk points under engineering. So I might swap out my gorilla hands for the rocket flim flam. But I do like punching them, and punching them is part of my build. Ho! Oh, let's make some ammo. I make more of this health garbage. See, I'm, I'm not crafting, but I am crafting up to blue. But my character isn't really crafting, just so you know. There you go. Boom. And I'm, I'm, I'm only doing this just to get the that final point. Bam. Level up. Ooh. Did I earn? Oh, I did. Oh, I did, and we're done. Cool. I can now... Uh, sort of respec these points eventually but for now I'm going to put that final point let's see here we're not doing quick attack we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine armor while aiming down sights reload time bullets fired bounce more we're not doing blades one second melee damage we're not really worrying about that Health regenerates faster as I move. It's one of those things I need. Alright. So I'm just gonna I'm, I'm going through a couple spots I know of right around the corner. Just a couple more spots. glad that you said that you like it, Adam. Because I'm really trying to memorize this map. I think it's really awesome to try to memorize not just the map, but the lore and the significance and the enemy positions and so forth and so on. CPD. Nice. Okay, so we're done here. So now I will head on down to Watson. We're still heading to Watson right now. Right over here. Welcome to Watson. I'm going to start over here. So I think it's best to start over here. I'm going to start over here at my apartment. Well, that is really a northern industrial apartment, isn't it? I'm trying to think of the best spot to start this route. I guess I can start at the apartment and then work our way back over to the Kabuki. Yeah. Maybe. Whoa. Maybe. 
I guess not. Universe says no. Universe says no. We go this way. I'll start over here at this other apartment. Yeah, I think I'll use this apartment to do the Watson Little China Kabuki area. And I'll use the Watson apartment for the, um... Ah! The waterfront industrial area. So right over here, right down the road in theory. Because it's within, it's within shooting range. There it is, look. How nice, totally. You see? This is where we're gonna start our journey. So Adam, uh, you played the game of course, right? Of course. And you play with different builds and everything. I used to really enjoy the, the Netrunner build, or whatever you want to call that. Not the build, but, you know, focusing on net running and uh, crafting and all that. And then weapons and all that were secondary. And I've always was wondering how it was like on the other side of the world. And this is that other side. You know. I can't wait for that next update. I can't wait for it. I am telling you these things right now. Yes. 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 I've been, um, I just got the strategy guide. Normally I don't do that, but this is the official strategy guide. So it's like official information. And there is an official interactive map that you have to, uh, get a code for that is contained within the strategy guide where it's a really high resolution map. And I'll be using that to keep, to take further notes. And everything. And we're really going to enjoy this situation. I like how this stuff keeps up. The NCPD is an extension of the of Militech. I'm pretty sure. They are. Whatever. In recent years, the NCPD, the Night City Police Department, has been the subject of various rumors. Out of concern for your trust and safety, we have d decided to cut through the chaos and misinformation. Dispel some of the most widely circulated claims. Three questions. One. Will NCPD officers protect me in all areas of Night City? No. The NCPD can only ensure the safety of Night citizens in districts such as City Center on... on oh, oh. In districts such as City Center or North, North Oak, areas such as Pacifica and the Combat Zone do not fall under our jurisdiction. Uh, doesn't patrol corporate territories or any territory outside of Night City limits. Is it funded by the corporations? It says right here, no. But they're lying because it's Militech. The NCPD receives funding directly from the office of the mayor and the city council. Corporations have no influence on us. Lies! Relying on their financial resources would be akin to corruption. Yep. Which is something we would obviously not want to do. Our officers are not as well equipped as their corporate counterparts, but they more than make up for it with their moral compass and sense of public duty. Do officers in the Max Tech unit take civilians and their lives into account? Yes, the the idea that Max Tech officers aim to neutralize cyber psychos at all costs is a blatant falsehood. So this is all propaganda. This is all lies. Announcements. Another psycho, a cyber psycho was neutralized in the WNS studio. Safe and sound. Oh my gosh. It's a television show. Yeah, Samurai Web, Night Corp. What is Night Corporation? I'm curious as well. Richard Knight's legacy, the foundation's uh, the foundation stone of Night City, is silent, watchful guardian. Three things that Night Corporation is not a manufacturer of junk, a company that only cares about profit, a foreign imposter on American soil. They're talking about, well, Ford Imposter on American Soils, Arasaka. 
a manufacturer of junk is either King Tal or Militech. A company that only cares about profit, maybe Militech. We grew out of the Richard Knight Foundation, a man who dreamt of creating the perfect city. Keeping Richard Knight's dream alive is what underlies all of our projects. Investments and public efforts, such as the underground maglev tunnels. We finance research. One of their projects was the maglev tunnels underground. We finance research and donate to orphanages. Oh, that's funny. No, it's not. And by adhering to our founder's vision, we improve the living standards of all night citizens. We're not afraid of risk. Nothing comes before night city. Interesting. Interesting. All right, cool. It would be cool if you could type in your own address here and like really use the net, you know, and then maybe get an upgrade for your apartment and then hack into it with the net runner garbage and have an ice bath and everything with a deep diving. All right, so let's, let's, let's take a shower or take a shower after going to bed here. Oh boy. So I'm going through an area that I know most of the way. And as I go through, we really cement that knowledge because I have to keep going through to refire those neurons. And I'll be going in the crack of dawn, right before dawn. How about 4.47 a.m.? When the sun is just peeking up over through the skyscrapers. Nice and yellow. Oh, yeah. Let's take a shower. I think this gives me a little energizing boost. Witchblade 2. Bring out your dead. In theaters June 14th. Coughing up blood in the shower. Reminds me of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Good old shower blood. I think this is the skeeziest of apartments, but it's also a very uh, nice cyberpunk apartment. You know, with this whole computer corner looking all awesome. Sports Weather Channel 4. Hold recording in progress. Yep, you gotta watch them data terms. Early in the morning, rising to my feet. Yeah. Feet. Feet. So strong it glows. Typically when you have a solid black, almost ceramic face with thin red glowing lines, that's indicative of uh, Arasaka. Well, I was singing um, The Blind, but I got the lyrics wrong for a second. Early in the morning, rising to the street to light me up that cigarette and I strap shoes on my feet. Got to find a reason, reason to something. Got to find a reason why my money's all gone. All right, well, I'll be right back after I prepare. Behold the sun. I've got a Dalmatian.
I can still flim play him. Look at that sun. Because love is what I got. I got, I got, I got. I got. I got. I don't cry when my dog runs away. I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay. Something, 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 something. All right, goodbye. Okay, I'm back, obviously. That was some good looking stuff right there, you know? I took some screenshots. Okay. Try and test that. About to get served. Here we go. That's what I got. It's within my reach. Where are the bad guys at? Okay, here we go. Hello? It's Bosco time. Hey. Oh. What's up in the big world? Oh. Oh. Shit, that cock sucking fuck! Remember that. With a dog and a band and a man. Play hip to that. <laughs> Fix that trauma team. None of them are dead. Of course I ran through them. Is what degree of flim flamming do I want to take it to? What degree of flim flamming do you want to take this? 
I'm over here now. Oh no. Oh. You hit nothing, pal. Right in the spine. I got him. I got him. This is the line. So you got this parking lot, that thing back there. Party time. Shouldn't be hanging out with Scab. Is what's wrong with you? I'm gonna knock him down with my punches. And then finish him off with this. This is my LMG. Do I know the full map very well by now? Uh, well, I, well, I'm trying. This, this is part of my, my learning. I turned off the mini-map. So right now we're in the Watson area. After the calamity of the, of the bomb in Arasaka Tower, many people fled that area and went north up to the Watson area, which is comprised of Little China, Kabuki, and the northern industrial. Right now we're at the almost the intersection of all three of those sort of zones, districts. Right over here is the Kabuki. That way is all the northern industrial, as you can tell. And more towards that way is the Little China, which is most of it. Then you have the Arasaka waterfront. In fact, I, I believe that building over there is the Kempeki Plaza right past the Flim Flam. Okay. My little farming route begins over here right past the apartment at the edge of the Northern Industrial. And you have this whole plaza full of bad guys and they respawn relatively quickly. You have that party in the back, a couple groups. Party in the back and then group and group, okay? And then right here there's an intersection of dudes right here this side, okay? And then you have that group of people over there fighting, or having a party sometimes. But this group over here is always here in the corner. And the next group may or may not be there. You ever run out of fucking ammo? Whoa. And then you had this group right over here. But I don't know the whole... Look, I've been really trying. And, you know, we'll see how long we're live here. And we'll go from there. I'm warning you. The, that group is there sometimes, or they're over here. Let me just use your vehicle. Don't, don't mind me. Bloop! 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 No! Uh. Oh no! <laughs> that that song said, "I'll put the sauce to your noodle." making pasta.
some of the best lyrics I've ever heard in my life. Big things. Rapping for the heck of it. Genius. All right, we're still doing the Watson maneuver. Okay, we're going this way now. All up in my element. You gotta put your thumbs in your armpits and start bouncing around. It's the only way to go. You put your thumbs in your pits and you do the twist. Okay, I'm going towards Kabuki land, okay? With my own two flims. This is Ganymede. We're going on foot, okay? It's more exciting that way. Okay, we're here. We're here. No. Ugh, so fast. Uh. No! I'm over here now. Mm. Oh no, your legs. I broke your legs. Oh no! How'd that happen? No fakers, no fakers, no fakers. My work here is done. Maya he, Maya who, Maria ha. I'm standing here. Shut up. Okay. Ugh. Ouch. Ah. You want to drive? Let's drive. Construction worker with a gun, huh? Yeah. Who said I can't? Who said I can't? I, I heard one of you say I can't. Which one was it? We'll find out in just a second. You point your gun at them until one of them points a gun back. And then it's open season. It's legal. If they point their gun at you, you're good to go. Shh. I'm on a route. Capitan Caliente's world famous tacos. That sell for flavor. Take that, civilian. I mean, okay. Satisfy your instincts. Silence. Okay, we're going back down. There's like an extra layer I was trying to add onto my existing farming route, you know? Pia, faster. 
Let's go, Sun Prime. Let's go. Faster, faster, faster. Don't you know? Let's drive the car right down the road. Yoo-hoo! Silver hand maybe do it. Move. Faster. Put some pep in your step. Come on. Make decisions. This AI is going bananas. This AI is going bananas. Good job. Into the northern industrial. We're sort of detouring right now. Faster. <laughs> Let's see where we go. Where does the AI want to go? Let's go to... Oh, no! Uh, well, guess what? They're back already. Isn't that funny? Zip and skip. Oh no, 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 whoops, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm over here now, oh no, what's, what, what, oh whoops, ouch, ow, it stings, Get yourself together. sorry, I'm trying, I'll shoot through the car, are you happy, if I shoot through the, like that, is that good, are you happy now, hmm? you're still alive, that's cool, right in the stomach, right about here, Right there. <laughs> oh, it's the police. The hot fuzz has found me. Talk about respawning quickly. Play work for Arasaka, don't you? You probably work for Arasaka. No? Oh, I see. That's so funny. It says assault, blackmail of a corporate rep, impersonation of a corporate rep. I assumed he worked for Arasaka because of how he's dressed. And that's why he's dressed that way. Wow! Hey guys, how's it going? Back into my sights! Did you call me? I gotta break down my um, greens and blues. Not all of them. I'll be selling the whites. I know it's strange. It makes sense. You have to trust me. Uh, sort of. It'll matter more in the future. Let's assign the good stuff. Oh, yeah. The good stuff. And we're good to go. You're back already? I didn't even go anywhere. Jeez. I was trying to head to the Kabuki. The party is... Better run. You had best be running. And I promise you. Oh, that was a civilian. Whoopsie.
<laughs> hey, I see your friend over there, right behind the wall. Maybe, maybe. Nice. Zoom. Yes. I'm getting all trained up for that next expansion. Ha! Okay, now we're leaving. This way. Let's go faster. I'm going to the traditional location for the Kabuki. Right over here. Excuse me. Welcome to the Kabuki. Those grand kabukis. It's an ancient place. Full of mystery. <laughs> Welcome to Blip and Skips. Exactly, right? I know, right? Oh no! I'm just gonna punch you one time, no big deal, okay? I'm punching each person one time. Welcome to the Kabuki. So I'll give you a little look around. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Hi. Ah. DTR, Decker Tanaka, and Rogers. And now we know what DTR stands for. Woohoo! Mark the day. A brand new day of knowledge. Puyutsu? Puyutsuki? Electronics. Nordstar. That's all Japan town over there. Okay. And that is not Watson Bray. Or yes, it is. This is Watson Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, no, no. No, that's not Watson Bridge at all. No, 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 no. Watson Bridge is way down there. You can see. It's just these on ramps look very similar. It's way down there. Way down there. This one's different. You see, this one doesn't have the same roof as the other bridge. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Grand Kabuki. Those Grand Kabukis of your it's a uh, it's 
quite the parkour place. You know? It's quite the parkour kind of place. Sell some stuff, huh? I'll sell these graves. The vendor has no money. I will consume a random street burrito or not. Let's go this way. Gotta hold my nose on that one. Get an infection. Enemies spawn here sometimes, just not right now. Start walking. Got these guys taking a picture over here. They'll never notice me. They'll never notice me. Me. Where are you hiding? I got your friend. I got your friend. And him. I got your friend. It's up to you. Will you will you stop me before I Nope? The answer is no, by the way. Still behind you. It's crazy. Ugh. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. 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 Right over here, there's enemies. Sometimes. Okay, let's go up and around. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. There's enemies right over here. Who's there? That was not my plan. Kneecap. This game is a well, sort of. There's implants that make you go really fast. There's a variety of implants that make you go really fast. And, you know, it's just with a certain build. <laughs> and I have some good stuff going on here. 
I can do this. Whoa, I'm over here now. Oh my goodness. And uh, I can do this. I'm so fast. Get him away from me. No. Too slow for me. Okay. So cool. Now I want to go over here for a second. A rock of soccer. Okay, we're going back now. All right, next up. Bad your garbage. Whee! Enemies not respawned yet. your friend okay I'll go up and around this walkway I'll blend in with the crowd Blending in with the crowd, blending in with the crowd. Blending in with the crowd, blending in. Bloop. My other build was crafting. This one is not crafting. Okay, let's go check across the street. Sometimes there's enemies in this pocket. Now, don't mind me. Well, first, I'll go this way. Fooled you. Check the microphone. I'll make you my bitch. Watch your language. Uh, so my plan is to knock them all. So I have to run around and knock them on the ground, dodging bullets. And then I... Okay. Yeah, I think there's one more group actually right over here. Mm-hmm. But not right now. Yes? Yes. It never happened. It never, it never happened. I'll be, I'll be done in, in about one minute. Ah, your head, your head.
Okay, now we head back down. Yes, I am like a superhuman. In this game, you become your own uh, particular version of superhero. Okay, here we go. Let me go check this pocket. Nope. There will be enemies to the left over here, and to the right, and around the corner. You're gonna run away. Go, 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 go. Please, just, have mercy on me. Just go. Just shut up. It's about to get crazy. Oh, fuck you, myself. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, it's a whole lot of enemies. Here we go. Excuse me. Oh no, not today. Back over here. Yep. Uh huh. You guys. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Right over here. Yeah. Ninja Goku. He's executing them. Stop it. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. And so is that. Okay, we're, we're heading towards uh, Tom's Diner. This way. Zippity doo flam. Excuse me. Let's hope they respawn. Boy, is so much cheese to do. Gross. Here really quick and uh, grab your friend and uh, hey hey buddy check this out you couldn't stop me you hear me pal no yeah why are we uh well am I in Tokyo well specifically we're in Watson I know they're speaking Japanese, but we're in the little China portion of Watson. Before we're in the Kabuki portion of Watson. Across the way, that is Japantown. This right here is Japantown. This whole node, or half of this node, and down here is uh, Charter Hill. So there's like a whole Japantown situation. It's because... There is a Japanese influence from the Arasaka Corporation, which is a Japanese corporation, which is the primary competitor. It's a primary arms competitor and, and air national security competitor to Militech. And Militech is the primary uh, contractor, contractee for the U.S. government. 
even though this isn't the U.S. government. Night City is outside the jurisdiction of America. But it, but Militech still has a presence here. So you end up having a lot of Japanese stuff here and there. Arasaka is, is the reason. But there's other reasons why you have other such things. There's other reasons. But you see there's lots of you know, things. There's usually some sort of reason why you have Japanese culture mixed with American culture in a cyberpunk storyline. It's usually some sort of reason. This one has a couple reasons. The overall history of the universe. Okay, these enemies are not here. You are here. Okay, good stuff. Well, that's about it for that route. Now I'll uh, let's go across town to the end of Charter Hill, okay? And I'll go through J Japan Town. I'll take my Kus my Kusanagi motorcycle, my Yaiba Kusanagi. It's the, it's the bike from the Akira thing. Right on down the road. And I'll be heading through. Overkill. Yes. Thank you. I know these highways and byways are the back of my flim flam. I'm heading down over here to head across. Watson Bridge. This part over here is Japan Town. I'm heading to the back of Japan Town. President Rosalind Myers has declined to comment on the matter. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Canadian government is once again in the midst of a campaign to prevent illegal excavations and looting in the city of Venice. Don't tell me that. Four looters and seven carabinieri were killed in the most recent altercation. The city, submerged under the Adriatic Sea, still hides many centuries old and priceless works of art. High demand. Yeah. But this is just one part of town, okay? It's just one, one part of the overall city. You see, over there is a corporate zone. Over there is a flim flam zone. You know. It's just, in, in the other zone that we were in, we had some bleed over from this zone because they're sort of neighbors. This zone and the other zone are sort of neighbors. Uh, I'll ride through uh, this zone in here. The back end of Westbrook. This is all Westbrook, but we're in the Jap, the Japantown portion of Westbrook. The back end it looks more like San Francisco or something. A bunch of uh, these teal glass windows. It looks like a corporate downtown, but not as corporate as the Corpo Plaza. It's off to the right. It was kind of. I'll drive here through uh, Japan Town for a bit so you can have an overall feel of the aesthetic. Just for a second. It looks different at night time, of course.
Whoa. Scary stuff, I know. I have a few more things I want to show you here. A few more things I want to show you here. Before we're done in this area, I'm giving you a little tour of the the architecture of Japantown. I'm going to drive down to the Northern Industrial and then drive back. Yeah, I'm driving down to the Northern Industrial. This is also to sort of test out my knowledge and it's working out so far. I'll be taking the exit over here and then doing the loop around back into town. And then I'll show you one more thing and then we'll move, move on to the uh, Charter Hill. Right here. And this time I'll do it with a car. What kind of car shall we do this one? Maybe. It's the Batmobile. It's the Merc Manmobile. Oh, great. The car just crashed on its own. It's the Merc Manmobile. The Merc Mobile? I'm gonna move away really quick so I can move back with my car not damaged. Hmm. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Okay. Let's hope this works out. Okay, good. My speedometer's messed up. Let's get back in. There it goes. So here we go. Really fast. So, y you see what Japantown looks like? Yeah. You have a bunch of these buildings that are shaped like that. That's right. And that's all Watson over there. And the edge is the Kabuki, which is sort of influenced. It's a bleed over from Japantown, really. You know, that whole edge. And the deeper you, you go in, it starts to shift over from that influence. For, for example, the main gang in this area, they're a Japanese gang called the Tiger Claws. And they're on kind of both sides of the river here. But as you go deeper in, it's all the Maelstrom, these weird heavily borged out enemies that kind of went overboard with their cybernetics as you get deeper into the industrial area. Nice car that we can see stuff in, huh? that same road coming back down. I want to show you one more thing and then we'll be sort of done. This statue over here. I 
I didn't do that. Okay, let's go over here. I'm gonna go up and then... on down to Charter Hill. down a bit. Through Kuroshi. Oh yeah. Oh no. Let's go. You haven't seen me do a boss fight? Well, there aren't really boss fights in this game. There's things that happen throughout the story that are sort of like, well, well, there are boss fights. Sort of. Sort of. They're called cyber psychos. And uh, there's like a, there there's quest based stuff. But there, there aren't really, really bosses. But th there is a uh, cyber psycho situation. But once you do it, it's done forever. It never comes back, you know? And they're around. There's one over here, I guess. And there's a couple out in the desert. And they're done in like two seconds. It's not like a 20 foot tall boss or anything. It's not really about boss fights, I think. There's a bunch of gigs and storyline stuff. And, uh... Yeah, the Cyber Psychos. And beyond that... There's some stuff that happens throughout the storyline where you're fighting something that's kind of harder because it's like a, a boss in the storyline, you know? And there are bosses in the storyline, but it's a storyline, and we're not trying to beat the game. <laughs> uh, my next main quest is right here, uh, to meet Hanako at Embers. That's, that's the final quest. I, I've knocked out a bunch of quests earlier today. And I, I'm, I'm still chipping away at a couple other things here. You see, this right here is a big main quest. I don't want to really push through this one yet until I memorize a bit more of around the area. In, in this quest, I have to allow the Johnny Silverhand consciousness on my chip to take over. And it's like a big old sequence that occurs and it's really weird. And it takes a while really heavily storyline, you know? It's like a big progression in the overall theme and feeling of what's happening in this world. So I'm trying to hold off on doing that just yet. And over here, this is also another side quest I was digging through, and now we're at this step. I'm, I'm knocking out some other stuff until it's time for this one, you know? But I'll be knocking out this one tomorrow. This pyramid song, I have to go swimming with Judy. I might just tell her no. Either way, I have to go down there and say hi to her. Eventually. And this thing here is just a... discoverable mission where you find these graffitis across the city. And we have this fight 
which is sort of like a boss fight. And I went through a series of these, and now I'm waiting for the final fight. Sometimes you have to wait for a phone call or whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, I've already completed, in this playthrough, I've already completed most of the actual content, you see. Which is why it's all about exploring and learning the map for my next main playthrough. I have a couple gigs that are, are left, and the gigs are sort of like the actual uh, jobs that build up, that get harder and harder and harder, that have subterfuge, subterfuge uh, vague boss fight elements, and high combat, lots of enemies and conditions, you know, and different ways to accomplish the task. And they're pretty fun. And the game is full of them when you first start playing, and then eventually there is nothing left. Yeah, it's not like... Um, Elden Ring or something. You know? Uh, now, I am in the slightly easier part of the map because I planned on going through each part of the game uh, for memory's sake. We just did Watson, you know? And I was heading on down to this region over here because I'm trying to really master this region over, over yonder, like right over here. There's a bunch of these companies. I'm trying to figure out their spawn rate, and I'm trying to learn this whole whole spot. And whenever I travel between A and B without using the map, without using the mini map, it really helps to cement this game in my mind. So that ne the next time I play through, it'll be really awesome. Yes, but I don't know if it's very very different from a fantasy type of game. Uh, you know. How many boss fights are there in Skyrim? You do have dragons that are everywhere. I guess that's a boss fight. I guess. I guess. But without the dragons, what do you got? Some cave you already cleared? Here you have uh, groups of enemies, and we're trying to figure out where they are. Like right here. And I'm trying to justify why I'm doing what I'm doing. These guys are bad, bad people. Why? Because I say so. They're bad people. They're bad people because it's not illegal to kill them. Well, these enemies are slightly harder than the other enemies I'll just fighting. Or like He's using cover. a lot harder, I guess. Some of them have implants. Or the enemies I'm going to be fighting in a second. But we're trying to see how often they, they respawn. And we're trying to build up my, my skills a bit. Okay, so this was the rear of Dynalar. The company Dynalar. They make implants. Dealing with the nervous system and whatnot, they make my Sandevasan implant Dynalar. Let me go check over here. Oh boy. So, Kiroshi, are you done? Are you heavy respawned yet? Answer is no. Right over here. Sorry for that grossness. Let me go check right over here for a second. And I'll check that basement over there to see if they've respawned yet. There's some Militech back here sometimes. Yes? Let 
No attack. Good. Surrender. Take that position. Faster. They got machine guns. So these guys are much harder. This is Militech. So not some random gang. Take cover. Excuse me. Go, go, go. Okay, thank you, Amaru. Thank you. Stop it. Oh no, it's all bugged that move. And I'm I'm making it look easy because my build's pretty good. And uh you know. You don't have all the points in the world to really go around. Like you don't have enough perk points to go around. You have to be really selective. Otherwise it just doesn't work out for you. Let's go check this basement over here. Right over here. Yeah. It might be back. They're not back. I think they'll be standing outside if they were back. So now I'm going to cross the road. I'm just trying to, to cement these paths. Oh yes. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. In 2023, Night City was shaken to its core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb in our assignment's NC headquarters. 12,000 were killed instantly by the blast, and thousands more later succumbed to acute radiation sickness. This tragic incident. I still want to go back to um. Whoa. I'm going to uh, head on down to the North Industrial. There are enemies right over here by these smokestacks. Slow motion. This is punch them all one time. I get health back from punching them. Some healing as I punch them. And they get knocked on the ground and I shoot them when they're on the ground. I wonder if I do this first, will it respawn by the time that we're really done? This is a big yard of bad guys.
Bodies have been identified. All these headshots. Boom. Blip. Boom. He's hiding like a little bitch. I'm what? No, I'm not actually. Yes. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Let's do And then we do the shooting. And then we do the shooting dot com. Now there are are pretty hard enemies. Um but I think the hardest en en enemies only come if you break the law. Like max tack. It's pretty hard. Okay. Max tack is pretty hard. And then the uh afterlife the afterlife mercenaries that come and get you in Pacifica. It's pretty hard. My street brawler is now maxed out. I no longer need to use uh, my fists. I could, in theory, use a baseball bat or, or any other humorous club. But let's go on back. I've cleared through these enemies. My goal is to see how quickly they'll respawn. After going down to the Arasaka area first. Yeah. Well, that was really eventful. See if this is enough. Please stay calm. Cameras. I'm under attack. And boom. not today. Over here and boot. Need a medic. And again, I'm just gonna do heavy punches all the way through. It's hilarious. Because it's gonna cause internal bleeding. Internal bleeding. Extremist must be eradicated. There you go, buddy. Free. That guy is not at fault. If you wear this kind of equipment, you are the bad guy. Okay, now we're moving on. It, these guys are much harder than those other dudes. I no longer really need to punch them. Uh. Terrorists to death. So I do need to. Uh, so I might replace one of my guns with the. Well, we'll see. 
I might bring out the shotgun to build that uh, annihilation skill even faster. What the heck? Oh no. Oh no, your head exploded. Crazy. I'll go echoey in that tunnel. See if they've respawned yet. They're right back over here. Wow. These guys totally respond. Yes. Reloading. It's sort of like farming West Tech, in theory. Which requires memorizing West Tech so you don't get lost. Increased annihilation increased. And a bunch of loot. Well that was nice. Let's go back across the street, please. And let me get my bike or car. There's another sector of Arasaka I want to farm. Excuse me. Right over here. And let's go. Oh, nice. Get him back. Intruder! Somebody stop me!
pal. I pressed the melee attack. Ain't nowhere to hide, so just come out. Yes, sir. Yikes. You think? Surrender immediately. You're not supposed to be in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go over here. And Thank you. I'm right here. Fuck was that? Nothing. Where are you? Drop any weapon and come out. But I'm not hiding from you, I promise. There's probably more nearby. Okay. Right over here. And I can try to go into the tunnel. Into the tunnel. Maybe. Okay, let's see if there's enemies in here. I think there are. I think I'm going to change up my uh, arms for the explosives. But then it really might make me seem overpowered at that point. <laughs> but I have to get my engineering up to 8, so let's go do that right now. Let's head on down to any old Ripper Dock. And I might be ending soon because I was live for a while earlier. I just wanted to be live again. All right, so here we go. Get this parkour out of here. I think I've demonstrated things. I demonstrated the Watson route and the partial Glen route. We, we found a new route, you know, that's nice. Or, you know, we verified a route that I've found before. This place seems different now. The veil of containers is different. Are the floats random? Okay, let's go. I 
Good old Arasaka. I'm gonna drive across to that ripper dock. Your loved ones will be able to forget the worries of today and return to the simpler times of their youth. All reconstructed from your own personal family archives. Don't waste another minute. Pre order Silver Days now to receive a 10% discount. And I wish you all a bright and shiny day. Thanks for tuning in to WNS News. WNS News. A bright and sunshiny day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Jeez. Yes, I was exploring this area earlier. We have King Tao. So I will be ending pretty soon once I swap out this wrist mod and, and then I'll uh, swap out my perks a bit more. I don't think I need any perks to improve my rocket. And I'm no longer going to punch him, okay? We're no longer punching. Which means I get to save a ton of perks and put it into something else. All done. Over at the end, I believe this is the Ripper Dock that David Martinez used in in uh, the Edge Runners anime. It's funny how I'm still building up my athletics after all this time. Okay, so my hands are swapping out for the projectile launch system. I don't already own, but we're going to be using now. Boom. And then, uh, I'll buy some mod thing. This dude has $41,000 now. Cool. And... I probably have something I could put in there. Cyberware, my arms. What do we have? Increases armor by 7%. Nice. Hey, that's nice. And explosive round. Mm. I have to swap out my hand for the smart leak targeting. Yes. Yes. Explosive round versus... Electrical round. Guarantees stun? Sure, that sounds fun. Sounds fun. Let's pop up my hands for... From the ballistic code processor to something else. The smart link. Yes. How about that? Very cool. And now we're in. So I'll be ending the stream very soon. Let me go ahead and save right now. I'll be saving... Sorry, I'll be ending the stream once I'm done with this build. I just had to play for a few more hours because I was still awake. You know what I mean? Sometimes I end the stream because I'm tired, but then I think it's just like a temporary tiredness from digesting something. So I came back. Come on now. Okay, so now, let's respec. That's $24,000. That's fine. But now, all the important stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, silence weapons do more damage. I move faster while sneaking. Detection time increase. Uh, this time, I will go for the movement speed stuff. I do like that. You know? Movement speed, movement speed, movement speed. It gives me reason to choke him out as well. 
headshot damage out of combat. Very nice. I could start throwing knives or something, but I don't need to. I already have maxed out ninjutsu. Uh, I could jump on the enemy, but we don't need to. Yeah, sure. Crit chance while sneaking. Immortality. Crush attacks from stealth. More damage to humans. And that's it for now. Okay, over here. Cold blood. Movement speed. Okay, damage reduction. Duration of the thing. Max stacks increased. I don't need to be immune to that stuff. Reduces weapon recoil. Upon receiving lethal damage. So, so in theory, I could maintain that cold blood all the way through that line in the Glen. And, and in uh, Pacifica. For the most part, through... Uh, the Kabuki? Maybe. Not really. Blood swell. I'm not gonna die. Increased my armor. We're not doing melee. Range weapon damage to enemies within a... Well, I might do melee, but we're not doing melee. Increases damage to enemies within a 5 meter area, like right next to me. I'll think about that right now. While it's active, increases damage with melee weapons. Headshot damage. Health regen. Stacks are removed one by one. Crits. Put a stack of cold blood on. I'll save those two points there. Uh, let's not worry about the attack speed. And I'll save that. Over here, all this body stuff. Health regen. Super duper duper. Dodging and sprinting does not take stamina. Health regen in combat. Whenever I move, I regenerate health, I guess. Sure. Falling damage. Health regenerates faster in combat. Carry capacity. Max health by 15%. Can't knock me down. Armor. Incoming damage reduction. Getting hit does not interrupt my health regeneration. Cool. And we're at 15. We have plenty of room to go. So I'm just going to max out this light machine gun damage. Okay. And it knocks them back. And damage to torsos. Quite a bit. If I enter combat with the light machine gun, my movement speed increases. Sure. More damage to pass where I'm moving. Sure. Defeating an enemy with the light machine gun increases my movement speed by quite a bit. Burn duration doubled. Crit damage increased. Crit chance increased. Dismembering. Uh, increases damage to knockdown and staggered enemies. More damage to moving targets. Movement speed increased while carrying the weapon. Recoil reduced. Reload time. I'll think about it. We're not punching. Very cool. Assault. SMGs. Crit damage. Crit chance. Firing from cover. 
damage with rifles when standing still and some machine guns rifle and some machine gun when firing behind cover yes more damage while aiming eh. more damage to moving targets the problem is if I do too much damage it makes the game look easy that's the problem each headshot reduces recoil with rifles Increased armor while aiming behind cover, so I don't get shot in the back. More damage the further I am. Reduces the recoil. Reduces the recoil behind cover. More damage to full health targets. Defeating an enemy reduces reload time. And uh, just in general, it's just super, super fast to the point where it doesn't matter. I feel like that's sort of a waste. Okay, let's not put it there. Reflexes, uh huh. Technical, uh huh. Okay, right there. Crit damage increased by 60% for 10 seconds after entering combat. Right there. And over here we want this perk. Mm -hmm. I'll do the easy out. More damage at close range. Okay. And crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. By 5%. Plus 5%. Okay. That sounds like it's enough to me. And reload time reduced. Defense while reloading. Okay. Dismembering using this weapon increases fire rate by quite a bit. For a while. Weapon spread does not increase while moving around. We're not punching. But. Crit damage increased for a while. And over here. Pistols and revolvers while carrying a body. But we're not doing that are we? We're not doing that. Max stamina increased. No, no, nope. I'm just checking these final things. Okay, over here. We're not really worrying about this, but I do want to craft those health kits. And, oh yes. You know, this hasn't really worked out yet. Looting drones, mechs, and robots. Looting them, I get an attachment. I haven't really gotten anything yet. And there's not that many robots. Okay. But, uh... I think we're fine there. And... Deal more damage to poisoned enemies. Sure, that sounds just great. Now I'm slightly stronger. I think I have that rocket arm. Wow. Hopefully that doesn't hurt myself. I have the smart link. Precision rifle. Submachine gun. Light machine gun. No melee.
Uh, what number is this? Five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Very weird. What is the hockey? That's not good. Grenade? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh. Now, I had a health pump. At one point. I kind of miss having the, the cool metal hands. I still think it's important to do melee, and I don't want to do this rocket arm thing, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to swap it back out. I'm sorry. It was working too well before, and, you know, I mean, come on. I don't really want to ricochet those bullets, to be honest. All right, cool. So now... I have zero perks for punching, I think. Because who even needs any perks, right? Chance to apply stun. We don't need to do that. I did want a perk sort of to heal just two points here and um yeah five points just to heal with the fists i think it's important so let's just finalize my build one more time i'm sorry we gotta do it There's certain things I need. Let me go straight for those things first. So I do want to avoid dying from explosions. That's just embarrassing. Okay. And I want to craft that rare item. Over here under Street Brawler, I want to heal right there. And right, right here, I heal when I attack. Strong attacks with blunt weapons reduce the armor by a certain amount for a while. I'm just making sure I need something else. I don't know. Nothing else. Okay, we're good. Alrighty. Increase crit damage for 10 seconds after entering combat. 60%. That's like a lot of damage. One point. So over here, I'm going to avoid the speed stuff right now and the raw damage stuff, okay? Because I think I'm doing too much damage. I'd rather have it take a bit longer and have it look a bit cooler and be more effective than just killing them in two seconds. So I will be going for the crit damage and chance and all that, but not raw damage. And the recoil, right there. Uh, Knockback. Yeah, spread tightened. I'm 
More damage, crit chance. Uh, we're not doing movement speed right now. Re reload time. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's hold off on that. Crit damage with shotguns and light machine guns, sure. Burn duration, sure. Movement speed with the whatever, no. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Athletics. All this health stuff, yes. Yep, health. Falling damage. Sprinting, sliding. Health regen. Faster. Uh, health regen. Faster. Carry capacity. Max health. Cool. And over here. Crit stuff and okay, over here, cold blood. This is all very important. All this, all this cold blood stuff. Attack speed, movement speed, or attack. Crit chance and all that garbage. It's really important. Recoil reduction. Attack speed. Non death armor. Shot damage and healthy health, health. Uh, crouch attacks with stealth melee weapons do more damage and are guaranteed to crit hit. Mm, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Nope. Poison effects, drones. Nope. Crit chance while sneaking. Yes. Headshot out of combat. Yes. Crit chance upon entering combat. Yes. Okay. That. This is considered a takedown. That'll increase my, my movement speed by 30% in theory. I could jump down, get one, and then get the others. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. More damage to humans. Okay, that's all good to go. And body. I deal more. I want to deal more damage. Upon entering combat using a shotgun or light machine gun, my. Yeah, movement speed increases. And even more. But we're not doing damage. Defeating an enemy with the. Light machine gun increases my movement speed even more and more and more and more. Ridiculous. Reload time. Ah, uh, maybe. Sure. There we go. Oh man. How about yes? Because I'm not going for raw damage. Hey there, Chris. I'm about to uh, sort of end the stream. I'll just re... re uh, 
respecking because I'm maxed out on a couple things. So I'm trying to avoid raw damage and rely on crits and so forth. Alrighty. Not many blunt attacks. I'm still using the the uh, blunt attacks, of course. This tech again. Mm -mm -mm. You have a chance to get the blue. I don't need it right now. I don't need it. I could do this. There's a chance of looting a mod or attachment from these robots, and I do need those. Eventually, that'll be important. I'll see in a, in a second. I'm just making sure. Making sure. Okay. Cold blood. Okay, one, two, just making sure, oh my, oh well, good thing I checked because I have no points over here, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, headshot, standing still, headshot damage with the, with the precision rifle, uh, Distance equals more damage. Recoil reduction with rifles and submachine guns. See, I would like my headshots to be one-shot kills, but not my other shots. I, I want it to take a little bit of work here. I don't want them to re ricochet all that much. Uh, more damage behind cover because the whole point of my submachine gun and precision rifle are to kill them quickly. Cleanly. My light machine gun, not so much. Or my fists. I don't want to kill them right away with my fists. I want them to be knocked down. There we go. Damage while aiming. Armor and resistances while aiming behind cover. I might get stabbed in the back, you know. Crit damage with rifles and some machine guns, yes. Yes. Reload time, maybe. Recoil behind cover, yes, maybe. More damage to full health targets. Crit chance when firing behind cover. It's already really high, but you know, guaranteed. Reduces recoil with, uh huh. Reload time, no. Raw damage. Okay, that might be it, hopefully. Uh huh. Good. Good, 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 good. And I have my precision rifle. Yeah, some machine gun, light machine gun. And we're still using the fists. And over here, we're using the med pump still. Everything is just fine. Yay. Okay, I think we're about done here with this screen. We learned a lot. This was, you know, uh, the, this, was, this was the part two of my screen. I was live for... Almost nine hours before this, a while earlier. But we're getting close to my build, getting all beefed up until the growth is gone. The growth is all mental, you know? It's all mental at this point. All right, I've ordered a, a uh, the official strategy guide. Therefore, it's not cheating because it's, it's the official guide. And it just has a bunch of lore and photos and uh, detailed information and weapons information. Lots more information that, that, than what's in the game. And it's official, so it's official. And it's linked up with the map. And that's pretty cool. The interactive map. That's really good. There's other interactive maps, but this one's official. Therefore, it's fine. 
but I'm happy with the build so far. These fists apply bleed. This applies fire. This applies poison. And this can shoot through walls. And I'm unsure really whether or not it's considered a tech weapon. It says power weapon. It says power. But I can shoot through things. I think just because it's so powerful. For example, if I shoot right here. See, there's an exit hole. Okay, well, thank you all for watching. I'll be live later on today, okay? We've done so much. And we've come so far. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out. So long. Yes, sir. We went through a couple areas. Oh, poison lace around sounds like a... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, goodbye, everybody. Peace out.